His body felt tired, to tell the truth, he could not move even a millimeter, but it was as if he had woken up from a long sleep, and with a maximum effort he could open his eyes and move, the weighted eyelids as if they were rocks. Goku with a few energy he had opened his eyes as he tried to assimilate everything, but a short time later he realized that he was on his planet, in his room, perhaps the few memories he had had been an unhealthy and crazy dream. Goku, thinking my body, doesn't respond, I just think I'll go back to sleep. Goku began to close his eyes to be able to sleep, but before that happened the doors of his room opened wide, and in the middle of them was a female figure. Goku, thinking, who is she? His eyes gradually began to adapt to the light, and he could see two large pigtails that were the usual hairstyle that his beloved wife wore. Goku with a little strength he had say something. Goku Margarita, the girl who hadn't realized that her beloved had woken up ran to her side, and got on her knees next to the bed. Margarita, Goku, you finally woke up. At that moment Margarita would begin to shed some tears, while holding the right hand of the Saiyajin. Margarita, crying, I was really worried about you. Goku again with a lot of effort can talk again. Goku, have I slept a lot? Margarita, yes, for a long time. But it doesn't matter anymore everything will be the same as before, our life will return to normal. No one will get in the way of our happiness anymore. Goku, upon hearing this, felt a chill all over his body. Some blurred images came to his mind that he could not remember, and that he simply thought it was a bad dream. Margarita would get up, and lie next to him, and wrap her head with his warm arms while gently caressing Goku's head. Margarita, you must be very tired, you must rest your body still does not recover. Goku, does it recover? From what? Margarita, it seems that you have forgotten it. But try to remember, remember that someone manipulate your mind and take you away from me. Goku couldn't believe what he heard. But little by little those images of Margarita crying while he against his will kiss seals suddenly reached his head. Goku, it can't be what have I done? Goku shook his head with difficulty to look at Margarita, who had some tears in her eyes. Goku, really forgive me I would never do those things at will. Margarita, smile, I know I know better than anyone, but don't torment yourself. Everything has already happened, and again you are with me, and this time, I will not allow anyone to separate us. Goku, I can't remember everything, but tell me what happened with seals, maybe you killed. Margarita, smiles, no I didn't kill her I thought you didn't want me to do that. So with my father's help she was locked in a place from which she won't be able to escape. Goku smiles, thank you I was sure you would do the right thing. Goku took Margarita's hands and kissed them. Goku, I'm finally back. Margarita would close her eyes and let out a smile. Goku, I feel like it's been forever since I saw that smile that I like so much. Margarita, really, I think the same thing. I feel like it's been a long time since I saw your eyes so full of life. Goku would only give a smile to Margarita, who couldn't be happier. Margarita would continue to caress the head of Goku who gradually fell asleep again. Margarita, thinking, you finally came back. With great care Margarita would leave Goku in bed, and leave the room without making the slightest noise. Margarita, thinking, for now you just have to rest. Margarita walked along the long corridor, while humming a beautiful, but melancholic melody as she walked she would reach the garden, in which there were some large, and beautiful red flowers that Margarita had planted since the red color was now her favorite. Margarita approached those flowers to feel their sweet aroma, that made her feel a huge peace. Margarita kept walking until she reached a dark room. She briefly touched her staff and illuminated the whole room. Margarita smiles. I'm so happy, Goku finally woke up from that stupid spell if you can call it that. Now he will be next to me forever. Margarita would take a very sharp knife she would give a small smile and approach a table, and give a cut and repeat the process many times, Margarita had begun to cut the vegetables that would give an excellent flavor, to the food she had begun to prepare since she wanted to give a great banquet to her husband who surely after recovering energy, would have a fierce appetite, the hours would pass, and again Goku had woken up this time with more energy since he could finally move more freely, Goku would again look around trying to look for his beautiful wife, Goku, where will Margarita be, Goku would try to get up, but he still didn't have the strength for that. Goku, my body still hurts a lot. Suddenly, the doors of her room would open again, and you would see Margarita, who entered the room followed by a large table that had a great banquet that she had prepared. Margarita, don't try so hard, dear. Goku smiles, I'm sorry. Margarita, well, I guess you'll be hungry. Margarita would hit the floor with her staff, and the table would move in front of Goku's bed. Goku, with bright eyes, this is Margarita, smile, yes love, 
It's all for you. Because of the emotion, Goku would try to approach the table. But the pain returned. Markarita, a little angry. I already told you not to move abruptly. Goku. I'm sorry. Markarita, God. What am I going to do with you? Markarita with a smile on her face would start feeding Goku as if he was a small child. Goku. This is not necessary. Markarita, of course, you're still weak. So until you're completely recovered I'll take care of you it's clear. Goku. Okay dear. So Markarita would help Goku to feed, while the two spent more time together. And after some time. Goku. Thank you it was delicious. Markarita, flushed. That makes me very happy. Once again Markarita would cuddle with Goku in his arms. Goku. Tell me Markarita. How long have I been asleep? Markarita. About eight terrestrial months. Goku. Surprised? I've been there for so long. Markarita. Yes. The effects of what made you like this were very strong, and at the time of breaking them your body was severely hurt. Goku, oh I understand. But I'm glad that now I can be with you. Markarita would squeeze Goku a little harder. Markarita? Yes. I know. After a few minutes Goku would fall asleep again, and Markarita would leave the room, and start humming that beautiful melody again as she walked, and went to the highest room of the castle. Once inside that dark room, Markarita, sat on a chair that was close to a window only to contemplate the beautiful night sky that surrounded them. Markarita, simply beautiful and perfect. I think it surpasses myself. Surely to Goku he will love the night sky that I have created. Markarita appear her staff that would change shape to a more gloomy one while a hologram was present. In the hologram, you would see how from the garden the image began to move to the sky revealing, that in reality they now live on a planet that was covered by a barrier that made it invisible to anyone. But the most surprising or terrifying thing, is that around it there was a panorama of destruction, and death that now surrounded not only Universe 13, but the rest of the existing universes. Markarita, smiles, just beautiful.